I always keep watching you, man. I think you're having a good time. And, and, and see you out there eating, dancing, man. Enjoy yourself. You just keep up with You know what? I'm going to keep up with you, man, because you're a good person to keep up with, you know? Yeah, hold so you I'm down, gonna, man. I'm, I'm going to keep up with you. All right, man. Be good, man. All right. Uh, you, I'm in your corner, man. I'm just letting you know, so... I might come back over here later on and see what you're doing, you know. You know, you be playing some old music, oldest but goodies out there. Dancing, you know, I see you with your, you know, Afro dancing, you know. Hey, you enjoy yourself, bro. Hey, that's what it is. I appreciate y'all. I'll come back with you later. God bless you, right, buddy. Man, you too, man. Be good. Wow. You never, you think you got it bad, but you don't. Somebody watching you, wishing that they... I, that's why I live my life for other people, man. I live my life for other people, man. Even my haters wish they could be me, man. So I live my life for them too, man. It's just that I wish I could show me weird and call the Airbnb people that I be at. They call the Airbnb people or the people that I, that I rent from and make it hard. Yo, babe. Do my head. my head. Okay. Yeah. They talking crazy about my head. All right. Yeah, so they they call the people the people uh get my get my address and they call the people I rent from and they make it hard for me to stay there. They make people think that it's crazy things going on and shit and people just you know disassociate themselves. So I get I get ran from one place to another, just like Jesus said in the Bible, he says when you're when you're persecuted in one place, flee to the next. It says it in it says it in Matthew. It said they I, I read it for you. You feel me? No, I'm not. I'm not. He going to follow me. Appreciate it, love. I miss y'all, though. I ain't going to lie. I'll be missing y'all like y'all be missing me. But I'll be relaxing. I ain't going to lie. I'll be relaxing. It says, I'm sending you out like sheep amongst wolves. Therefore, be shrewd as snakes and as innocent as a dove. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and flogged in the synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry for, about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. For it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of the Father speaking through you. Sugar, sugar P, sugar pie, I see you, sugar pie. Um, brothers will betray brothers to death. You know what I'm saying? You will be hated by everyone because of me. Hated by everyone. But the only, on, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. Truly, I tell you, you will not finish going through the towns of Israel. This come on, this is this is biblical, man. What's happening to me, man? You see me, I'm fleeing from one place to another. I always trying to put the cops on me and tear me down and hate me. I'll be hated by everybody. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hear this shit, man. This shit is biblical, man. And if you go to John, John, um. 15, you can hear it right here. It says, if the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but have been chosen. But I've chosen you out of the world. This is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obey my teachings... They will they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name. Anybody that's attached themselves to nature boy name knows that. Right? You get you attach yourself to me, they're gonna hate you. If I had not spoken to them, they would be not be guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for their sins. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand, like, when you when you've been chosen, the world gonna hate you. The world has to hate you. That's been biblical. That's, anytime the Christ comes, it is said this thing. The world will hate the Christ. It has to hate the Christ because the, the Christ is the truth. And they're living in a lie. Basically, people live in a cancer tumor. The earth has cancer. And humanity is that cancer. 
You feel me? So you was born into a nickety, meaning you was born into a tumor of cancer. That's what cities are. Cities are like cancers on the planet. You feel me? They take all the resources, but don't give nature nothing back. So you got to understand that when you real, you're not going to be accepted because imagine you be you you waking up in the middle of cancer and becoming the immunity. They're going to look at you as strange. But the truth is you have the whole world and all of nature and all of the creatures of nature with you. You understand? You feel like you're alone because you're because you're in human form and most of humans are hating you. But you are actually a part of what is, which is you are part of the bees, the trees, the birds, everything in existence. You are part of the universe and you're not alone. You, the spirit of, of existence, of life itself stands with you while they live in death. You feel me? They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that they're living, they're living in death and you're not a part of that. You've been chosen out of that to bring a new world in, to bring a new mind. A new consciousness and to bring new beings into this world and it is a coming because we are now in the age of information and coming into the golden age where it'll be heaven the kingdom of heaven will come to the earth you understand the kingdom of heaven is a mindset it's a mind state the kingdom of god is a mind state it's a mindset of truth that is in line with scientific evidence and scientific fact things that can be proven you know and we're not aligned with that we do not wear our real here we do not know what our antenna is our here is our antenna we, do, we tear our antenna apart. We need to wear our natural hair, style our natural hair. The more coils you have in your hair, the more higher your magnetic field is. You are a magnetic field. You are Merkaba. You feel me? Your hair is an antenna that enhances. So you see these glocks. These are these are so that. Of the electricity can be the fire the currency so the reason why black people here is nappy because we have superior here we have supreme here and our hair being nappy and, and locking up is actually what it's supposed to do even white people here lock up if you leave it alone so actually it is intelligent for you to have locks or clocks or you know we're here that is bundled up and knotted up because at the end of the day it makes you a more powerful being meaning that you are you are able to feel be more compassionate be more empathetic empathetic and basically you're here magnifies your reality to you you see colors different you taste food different your interaction with people different you become more compassionate because even if you're an evil person and you have locks you become more evil because you you are sensitive to the evil you become more sensitive to everything Whoever you are, it enhances you. Your hair is an antenna. So it's, an antenna is going to en enhance whatever signal is being received or transmitted. So once you understand that your hair is an antenna, then you, you, you're you proud to have nappy, coiled, uh, metallic type hair. And it's kinky. And then you, 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 you become to be happy and accept yourself as you are and realize that your melanin in your hair, the melanin in your motherfucking locks, the melanin in, in your eyes makes you superior, meaning that you are on a higher frequency of what humanity is, having more melanin and having more coiled nappy hair, what they call nappy, nappy roots. The truth about the matter is your hair is an extension of your nervous system and it's connected to a to a um to to a nerve called the hair root plexus. The hair plexus root, the root hair plexus. If you go online and you Google the root hair plexus, you'll realize that your hair is actually connected to your nervous system. It's your brain. So it's like it's an extension of your nervous system. That's a fact. That's not a, a that's not nothing to, that we're 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 debating about. This is a fact. It's called the hair root plexus. Go Google it. Most people don't even understand what the hair is. That's why these people walking around with with blonde hair, they bleach their hair. That's the style. Right now, people are bleaching their hair. It's retarded as hell because at the end of the day, melanin is worth more than gold. Why is melanin worth more than gold? Because at the end of the day, melanin is a, is a superconductor. It actually enhances your magnetic field. It is, the, it is the living matter in the sky that makes the sky black. If you see the sky black, that's matter. That's dark matter. That dark matter is melanin in you that makes you dark. So why the fuck would you strip yourself 
of of something that makes you closer to what is, which is God. That's stupid. Why would you dye your hair? That's why it's called dye, because it strips the melanin out of your hair. And when you take a lot of showers, they have what is called chlorine in the water. Chlorine is bleach. And while it's used to kill bacteria or kill bacteria, you are bacteria. So it's actually killing your bacteria. On top of that, they're putting uh, fluoride in your water. They're putting all kind of stuff in your water. And you want to take a shower every day in this steaming hot cocktail of, of a gas chamber that you're doing. You're, kill you're being killed slowly. And, you're, and your frequencies are being lowered with the stuff that you're eating and the stuff, that the showers that you're taking and the shit that you're doing. FYI. So if you talk about my hair... I love my hair. My hair is my antenna. I have the best hair on this planet. I am superior because of my hair. My hair has melanin in it. That's what makes your hair black, melanin, melanocytes. But what produces melanocytes is your pineal gland. And not your pineal gland, but your pituitary gland. Your pituitary gland uh, sends out a, a hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone. Melanocyte stimulating hormone is a hormone that comes out of your pituitary gland, which is your master gland. And that gland ensures that you stay dark skinned. That gland ensures that your eyes stay black and that your hair stay black. You feel what I'm saying? So this is producing melanin. It's called stimulating. It's called uh, MS. H, melanocyte stimulating hormone. This is the hormone that's produced by the pituitary gland to ensure that you continue to be black at every moment of the day. You're not black, you're not brown, you're not dark brown, you're not black, your hair's not black for no reason. No, they, they, these, the melanocytes are stimulated by a hormone. And that hormone, you can, you can get tyrosin in certain foods that produce high, high levels of melanin or uh, stimulate this um, hormone to produce more melanin in your body. Feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I want to be black as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be black as possible. If your nose is big and it's wide, that's because it takes more for your body to cool down. So this, your, your nose is your ventilation. So if your nose is big, that means that you're able to get more oxygen in your body to feed your muscles to make you stronger. Oxygen fed to your muscles make you stronger. Anybody knows that. That's why they tell you breathe while you're working out at the gym. Because at the end of the day, the more oxygen your muscles have and are able to take into your body, that's why you drink water. Because water brings oxygen into your body. You take water in so that oxygen strengthens the muscles. So at the end of the day, this is what makes us the fastest men on the planet. This is why Jamaica is so fast. At, at, at Jamaicans and um, African-American people are the fastest men on the planet and women on the planet because at the end of the day we have big nostrils we have melanin we're able to absorb energy from others I, if we're in a magnetic field black people are able to absorb people's energy quicker or more quick and more ready so it is it's an honor to be black and nappy nappy and black I want my hair to be my my antenna is my antenna i want it to be this is why i get these glocks because these glocks are really antennas i think this is the the, the wisest thing you can do because your hair will do this naturally. I'm just designing it as making it do it in myself. Because your hair is going to clock up. It's going to knot up anyway. So it's a style that we wear. You feel me? And this is like the, one of the most wisest hairstyles to have right here. Because these become antennas. Literal antennas. Because your hair is knotted up. And if you, if you understand how your cell phone works, then you understand your hair is a lot like your cell phone. You understand? So your hair is part of your sensories. It's a sixth sense. Actually, so your hair being an antenna is a lot like your cell phone. Your cell phone has an antenna and it's called the, the, your SIM card. You put your SIM card in there and then you're connected to an antenna. Without the SIM card, that's what melanin is. Melanin is like a SIM card. So without the SIM card, when you, you, your cell phone will be dead. So without melanin, you would be dead. Melanin connects us to um, transmission of consciousness, period. Melanin, we have neuromelanin that has to do with the, the brain, it's, it's in our nervous system, it's in our um, spinal and um, brain. You understand? This, is, this has to do with the amount of intelligence a person has. Because the more, the true intelligence is not uh, based just in um, logic. True intelligence is based in, based in feeling. Because feeling is to know. The only reason why we can be um, intelligent is that we're able to feel. Even when you see something or you observe something that's based in your nervous system because electrical signals are being sent to your brain and these electrical signals are based in nerves. So at the end of the day, the more you can feel, the more you can know. So if the, your, your, your eyes become more heightened when you can feel or sense. These are sensors. All of these senses, they're called senses because they're based in your nervous system.
So you need to understand that first to understand that the black man and woman is superior because of their ability to be able to sense things at a height of height and frequency. The more sensitive you are to feeling, the more intelligent you can be. So all my water signs out there, if you got a lot of water in your chart, that's good because that, these are the most intelligent people on the planet. Because if you can feel, you can know. You cannot know anything without feeling it. You cannot intellectualize what is to be experienced. Through feeling, through our senses, we can understand. So understanding coming coming through feeling and feeling coming, you knowing knowledge coming through feeling because to feel is to know, okay? Consciousness is based in feeling. So that's why women are more intelligent than men, because at the end of the day, they're based in emotion. And emotion allows them to, at a young age, learn how to understand what they're, how sensitive they are, how they feel because of their body and the estrogen that their body produces. So the most intelligent people will always be the alphas. They will always rule. You know what I'm saying? So it's not alpha doesn't have anything to do with you being macho. Alpha just means that you're smarter than everybody else because muscle is mind over muscle. You can have muscle all day and I can make you kill yourself with the muscles. You feel me? So the mind is the people that run your world are not big macho people. They're not the strongest motherfuckers. They're the smartest motherfuckers and they outsmarted you. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the true alphas. The alphas are the most intelligent um, people on the planet. And that's us. It's just that our intelligence was used against us. And we're, we're, we're being, you feel me? We're being doxxed. You know what I'm saying? For our own intelligence. We're not in line. But now we're here. We're more woke. We can start aligning ourselves with truth and science and what's really going on in the world. So with that being stated, being black is a gift. Being black is a gift. Being melanated is a gift. And we need to realize that and start accepting our hair and that start accepting ourselves for who the fuck we are because we're, we are the most intelligent beings on this planet because of matter, because of dark matter, black matter, dark matter, because we're able to feel, meaning that we're able to be God at its highest frequency. Everything is God, but we're able to be it at its highest frequency. We can taste the better, we can taste food at an all-time high. We can feel emotions at an all-time high, meaning that we're the most intelligent. It's not intelligent that what white supremacy is doing. White supremacy, everything is doing is is intellectualizing what to be experienced. They want to understand music by by understanding notes. But you, this is why y'all never be the best musicians in the world. Black people are the best musicians in the world because we're not studying music. We are the music and we're expressing in the music. We're always completely in tune and on beat because at the end of the day, we are that very essence of what you're trying to study. And so when you, while you're trying to study it, you see what I'm saying? We are it. And certain things, you're observing the observation, but not being the observation. You're observing it. And that's the problem with science because white people use science for everything, but don't realize that this is destroying them. They're destroying themselves in a the process of trying to intellectualize everything that is to be experienced. This is why they're fascinated by black people, how fast we are, how, 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 th how we do things and how melanin does things. If they're fascinated by that, they're fascinated by our mind and our brain and our ability to have rhythm and, and, and do things at a whole time rate. You see what I'm saying? And know the truth. And Nature Boy is just one of the most intelligent beings on this planet. And they watch me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a threat to them because my people hate themselves, which they've been programmed to hate themselves. So at the end of the day, they don't have to do anything to me because my people will continue to try to destroy me because I'm because I'm I'm their messenger. But they see me. White people been seeing me. They seen me since, like I said, Kayla. Uh, since Kayla, um, that girl Kayla. They they been seeing me. They spotted me. They already knew me. Matter of fact, white people knew me when I was born. They already been watching me. That's why I was in foster care. Like you know, what I'm saying they've been watching me from from the day one. That's why I ain't have a mother and a father in the, in the family. They've been watching me. They've been observing me through the system. I've been in the system all my life. They've been watching me. They knew who I was before I even knew who I was. White people are very intelligent and very scared. Their intelligence comes from fear. They fear nature. They fear everything that's going to happen. So while you're sitting around living in their world, chasing money, they don't need money. They're sitting around wanting control and wanting to survive and keep that control. These white supremacists that run this world are not concerned with the things that you're concerned about. You're sitting using your mind power for things that they are not using their mind power for. You're chasing you're in the system that they put you in and you're chasing matters within that system. They do not care about those matters. They set you up to be sitting there in that entrapment. 
while they continue to make up new ways to entrap you so that they can keep power. So they fear, their, their biggest fear is not, is not, um, is not anything but you waking up. Their biggest fear is that black people wake up and start to unite and realize their supremacy and come together to overturn them. Like that's their biggest fear that we won't be concerned with the stupid matters of tearing each other down no more and unite and come together. That's, that's the people that they fear. They, they make prisons, they make drugs, they put guns and, and, and substances. These are the witches, these are the wizards. What do you think crack cocaine is? Crack cocaine is witchery. It's witchery. It's a substance cooked in a pot and made and something taken from nature and substance just like any other witch would do and witchcraft has been put on us. And this drug alters our mental state and our, and, 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 and our endocrine system. So, our, so we are, we are uh, entrapped in this matrix and we are waking up and those that do wake up will be targeted. They have already planned and strategized for those that will wake up and, and made sure that when they do wake up, they will be targeted, hated, um, doxxed, you know, and we just have to be strong. The world is going to hate you. It has to hate you because you're chosen to bring change and speak truth. And you can start to feel doubt. You can start to feel the pressures that they designed you to feel, but keep fighting. You, you are here to transcend the human mind and they can't stop it. They cannot stop it. See, they created the internet, but the internet is the very thing that's going to kill them. Because of AI, AI is going to destroy the very thing because AI is, is intelligence that's going to destroy them. And the internet is a way they can't hide. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's also being used as a tool for us to connect and unite. And they're you, they doing everything in the possibility that we don't connect and unite and oversee our um that we, we tear each other down but we're not the essence of the problems that we see in each other we're not the essence of the problems that we see in each other the system is set up that even the monsters that you say like oh nature boy is a monster that this monster has been programmed by them and instead of you looking at the 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 the, the cause of that effect that we hate and saying yo Nature Boy is not the problem. The system makes Nature Boys. I'm not mad at Nature Boy. Nature Boy is only expressing what they made him. He's a product of his environment. But who made Nature Boy? Who made his mindset? That's who we should be mad at. But we focus on each other because we can never fathom fighting the enemy, not, not our color. And that's been taught to us. Self-hate been taught to us. We can never fathom turning that, that anger or that rage toward our true enemy. No. Nah. Because we're cowards at heart. We've been taught to be scared of massa and be scared to uh, stand against that, that governing force of this matrix. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, you're going to be called a cult leader. You're going to be labeled as a problem when you're truly intelligent. They're going to try to find all the dirt they can find on you as if they can judge me for being human, for being a product of my environment and doing the best that I can with what I had. You know, you, there's no compassion for you. There will be no compassion for you in this world. And you need to accept that that's your role that you're playing and understand your role and stand on that firmly because it will not be easy for you. The race will not be given to the swift nor the strong, but those that endure to the end. So you have to endure to the end. Stay strong. Stay. You have to be as, as swift as a snake, but as innocent as a dove. You feel what I'm saying? So they know what the drill is. You feel me? They'll make you forget your own purpose by continuously repeating things that you've done and misunderstandings of what you've done to make you stop sending out that message that you send out. But it will not work because at the end of the day, you can get caught in defending yourself to people that don't matter. And that is part of the strategy as well as to be a weapon because these are robots out here. These are not real souls. These are soulless beings. You know they're soulless because when you come up on them, there's no essence and substance or truth to them. These people are soulless. 
They're robots. They've been trained to obey and do what they were designed to do. And they look like you. They smell like you. They talk like you. They are your woman. They are your man. They are your family members. They are bots. Bots are people that do not question what's going on. They just go along with it and defend it with their life. They do not question what's going on with the system, what's behind things. They are just programmed to see what's on the surface and to see what's on the surface and respond to that, which is triggered to them. So um, if you are not a bot and you have a soul and you are a player in this game, then you know what time it is. You here to bring change. And that means you're going to be hated. We all want to be loved. Love yourself. Love what you stand for. Love, I'm going to tell you right now, humanity is not nothing but a speck in the true existence of all things. Human beings are one species out of an unnumbered amount of species on this planet. And every other species lives by a certain culture that humans have fell short of being one with. So you must become one with the nature of existence and all all all, all of other all all of the other species on this planet and do as they do, not as what we were programmed to do as so-called human beings. But we must become one with nature. We must become one with primates, study primates and why they do what they do. Their archaeologists are studying primates to watch them and understand who we are. We have to look into nature to understand who we are and to balance ourselves because nature cannot be wrong because it is a matrix. It is the original matrix. It is a program, a simulation that is one with what which is. So in order for us to be aligned with righteousness, we must be aligned with what is natural. Hiding our sex, tabooing our sex, circumcising our children is unnatural, but we have made unnatural normal. What is normal and what is natural are two different things. What is normal is a different nature. So what you have to understand is for us to become righteous, we must become human. We must become animal. Animal meaning that we must become like animal to become, to be one with God because God is nature. God is nature. God is truth. God is what is. God is actuality. That's what God is. God is the truth. And black people are innately more closer to that truth. And we are, un, we are, we are just now starting to try to be more domesticated human beings as is such in the civilization that we are subjected to. But we are truly more animal. That's why they called us monkey because we don't have the desire to fly airplanes and make cars and do stupid things out of fear of nature. We already were intelligent beings that lived in tune with what was and what is, and we naturally want to. That's why black people love to go to the park, have a cookout, celebrate, fuck, relax, chill. This is what we do best. But we have now programmed over many years epigenetically through behavior and environment. We have started to actually uh, subject ourselves to being European like, which is cancer like, because Europeans have been known to be cancer like because of their lack of melanin and this is just our lower self. There's no disconnection to what it is because we are all connected and we call it our lower self. It's not that it's not a part of us and who we are as well, but we call it our lower self and we are partaking in these things. And yes, I have come back to my lower self to teach and lead and show people how to transition once again out of this hell hole and I've come to return. I am the return of the Christ. I have came here for the chosen again to teach, to evolve the chosen souls back into the kingdom of God, in which will embody the earth very soon. So 
I've come back for you. I've returned. As the Christ has will always return to you to show you the way, to show you how to. I will become you first, again, and then I will transcend you again through the Kundalini. I will become you, then transcend you again into the heavenly state. Period. Put me on five boxes. I'm talking to my angels. I'm not talking to uh, these demonic entities that are trying to attack and stop this message from streaming through this being called Elegio Bishop. I am not Elegio Bishop. I am not located in this on this body. I'm coming through this body as a transmission broadcast that you must understand as your higher self. I am not Elegio Bishop. I am God. I am your higher self speaking through Elihio Bishop. Elihio Bishop is merely a human being. I am the God that is streaming through Elihio Bishop through his DNA. And all the information that I share with you is one with the cosmos and everything aligned with what is true. So you can continue to chant lies, deceit, but you will fall and you will fail. You are programmed. You are a genetic program in the matrix designed to respond to your triggers. You do not have a soul. When I mean by that is I mean you do not have a mind of your own. You're not allowed to think outside of the matrix and you are made to trap me. This is all throughout the Gnostic text. I will show you proof at this moment of what I'm talking about. This is all through the Gnostic text. They have programmed it this way, and I will show you right now. Give me a few. Give me a few. I'm going to find the um, actual video to prove it to you. Here it is, right here. More organic forms into the living soul's life. As such, their growth will be ridiculed, ignored, argued about, and oftentimes the living soul is left with a dilemma to follow their inner truth or to submit to the system. The targets of the energy extraction matrix are those with self-aware consciousness who find themselves caught in the muck of sentient programs. Boris Marathi explains that organic portals, the descendants of pre-Adamic man, have a sort of automatic reaction to stifle the progress of living souls. Therefore, when a living soul aims to connect with the true essence of their being, organic portals, he writes, will automatically become instruments of the general law, which makes sure that those who step out of line are brought back to the fold. This is how a man's foes shall be those of his own house. Medically insert more organic portals into the living soul's life. As such, their growth will be ridiculed, ignored, argued about, and oftentimes, the living soul is left with a dilemma to follow their inner truth or to submit to the system. The targets of the energy extraction matrix are those with self-aware consciousness who find themselves caught in the muck of sentient programs. Boris Maraviv explains that organic portals, the descendants of pre-Adamic man, have a sort of automatic reaction to stifle the progress of living souls. Therefore, when a living soul aims to connect with the true essence of their being, organic portals, he writes, will automatically become instruments of the general law, which makes sure that those who step out of line are brought back to the fold. This is how a man's foes shall be those of his own house. Ethically <coughs> insert more organic portals into the living soul's life. As such, their growth will be ridiculed, ignored, argued about, and oftentimes, the living soul is left with a dilemma to follow their inner truth or to submit to the system. The targets of the energy extraction matrix are those with self-aware consciousness who find themselves caught in the muck of sentient programs. Boris Maraviv explains that organic portals, the descendants of pre-Adamic man, 
have a sort of automatic reaction to stifle the progress of living souls. Therefore, when a living soul aims to connect with the true essence of their being, organic portals, he writes, will automatically become instruments of the general law, which makes sure that those who step out of line are brought back to the fold. This is how a man's foes shall be those of his own house. Automatically insert more organic portals into the living souls. So life. you already see that. As such, their growth. These, these, these organic portals will be put in your life. Like they even put people in my camp. It's women that they send to me that are there to try to destroy me and to act a certain way around me. And I see these centennial souls that come here, these, these beings that come, they, they, they import it. They implant them in your life. If you are a real soul, they implant organic, like they implant these bots in your life, right? And to try to destroy you or mentally damage your mind. So a lot of the women that's been around me that I'm trying to help, they can't be helped. They're just, they're just sent there to try to destroy you or make you look bad, you know what I'm saying? Because you're real. So you have to realize that it's a war going on and they've already targeted us, the real ones. They already targeted us, feel what I'm saying? And the real ones are collectively one soul, one part of the brass uh, variations of uh, souls that come from that white light. We are the white light. And we're very, we're, we're a small group of people right now. We're split into many different versions of people right now. And we're spotted every, we're spotted everywhere around. But when we wake up and we're activated, boom, we're, we find ourselves around a whole bunch of fake shit and we feel alone and we go through a depression and then we go to, through an awakening. Then we go through what is called the Kudalini. The Kudalini is when you, you're in and out of, Doing a, you know, you in Babylon, but then you you you're in nature. You're in Babylon, but you're in nature. You're going up and down. You 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 you're having doubts about what you already know. This is called the Kudalini. The Kudalini is when one minute you up here in your higher self, and the next thing you back in your lower self, and you go back in your higher self, and you go back in your lower self. These are called Kudalini. Like you you doing shit in Babylon, you start to accept that you try to go back into Babylon and get a job again. You try to do this again, but you fail horribly because then you go back to nature and you're just going back and forth and back and forth. And it puts a, it puts this um, it's, it's to build you Your kudalinis are to build you So which I'm a kudalini master I can go anywhere and everywhere I can eat whatever food I can it, Nothing can really harm me Like I can smoke I can do anything I want to do on this planet And still be in my higher self And still be able to access the Akashic Records Like because I'm a god Because I'm a ascended master I mean it doesn't matter what I do I'm going to be able to eat, eat able to tap into the Akashic Records and bring out knowledge at, at will. But not everyone's like that. You see what I'm saying? You have to you have to be chosen to be like that. It, 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 not, it, not, nothing can harm me. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like I probably swallowed poison. These people that I've been on this journey with have probably poisoned me three, four times and I, and I just did not die. And I'm pretty sure somebody out there that was part of carbonation have, has put poison in my food and I ate it and it just did not do anything to me because I have a purpose and a divine purpose on this earth and this existence. You know what I'm saying? So with that being stated, we have to realize that you're going to be targeted when you're chosen. You're going to be targeted and we have to support each other. I am the messenger of who we are. I am the messenger of who we are. We are very few at this moment, but we are the we will be the majority in the end. Most of these people will be destroyed. Most of these extra souls on the planet. These, I call them extras because they're extras in a the movie. They're going to be destroyed. There's going to be viruses that's coming out that's going to destroy these people. Straight up. If you're not at the frequency of this planet, pretty soon, you're all going to drop like flies. It doesn't matter because your energy will transform into a tree or a bird or some other form of life for the new world that's coming. But you will not see life after this. You will be in. You will not be human at all. We have come to. We are not human beings. We have come to straighten out the human nature and bring it back to balance, so that it can survive. Human beings are a part of this ecosystem we call Earth or the universe. It is a part of that. And what you have to understand is that we're descending here just like an avatar. No one lived on that 
the, the guys that descended over there in those bodies, they made bodies for them to consciously travel to. And they woke up in Pandora. When they was in Pandora, they wasn't in Pandora. They were in an avatar fit so that their consciousness can be transformed to that. So they were descended through DNA. So those bodies was made for av the avatar bodies was made. That's what the movie Avatar means. These bodies are avatars. My mind is a consciousness that is the most high frequency of what we, we can become as consciousness, as human beings. So that's what the Christ conscious is. It's the most high consciousness. We always say all praise is due to the most high, not realizing that there is no God X. God is consciousness. The most high consciousness is what we're trying to say. All praises to the most high. There's no one being that created us all. No. No. That's a lie. There is no creator. How can you create something eternal? Don't worry, I'll wait. People just say things over and over and think that because they say them over and over that it's the truth. That's a truth, but that's not the truth. The truth is that we're eternal. Nothing was created and nothing can be destroyed. All things are transformed. So therefore, there is no beginning. There's no end. There's only beginning of cycles and end of cycles. But there is no creator of nothing. Nothing was created. We are we are eternal and forever. Therefore, there is no creator. We are it. That's the only way that we could say that we can give um, reverence. What we're trying to give reverence to is the very essence and source of what we all are. That's what we're trying to say, but we don't know how to articulate ourselves. What we're trying to say is all praise is to the, to the source of what we all are, which is consciousness. That's what we are. What makes you what you are is consciousness. Let's just make it plain and simple. It's not the oh, all praises to the most high. There's nothing most high but the, the most high intelligence that we can embody. We, we as beings become the most high. When we tap into the highest consciousness that there is for human beings to tap into, which is Christ conscious, which is the eye of Horus, which is the all seeing eye. Right. We have the all seeing eye. The all seeing eye is the is the is the recognition is the consciousness, the conscious awareness that we are all connected and we are all one. That is the highest frequency that you can ever tap into in this consciousness. Uh, and consciousness period that everything is connected and everything is one and that we are talking to ourselves as this one being trying to figure out this very understanding that is the point of the game the game is to figure out that you are one with everything and you are everything and everything is nothing and everything is no thing because if you're everything then you are no thing because you are everything that is the highest most high frequency most high consciousness that is the most high. We are the most high. If you tap into that and understand that, you have become the most high consciousness. Because that's what we are. Fuck what you heard. That is the absolute truth of the matter. Period. Period. It don't get no higher than that. So when you see people say, all praises do the most high. Oh my God. All, all praises do to the most high. Oh, do this stupid shit. All praises do. All praises do. It's bullshit. The motherfuckers is, is retarded and they're still sleeping and they're still unconscious because to be con they're unconscious when it comes to awareness of what they are, who they are. We are God or what you call God, which is just the source of what we are, which is just energy, a.k.a. consciousness. And it's different frequencies of consciousness different variations of consciousness. You can be conscious about mechanics. You can be conscious about uh, aware about consciousness means to be aware, to be self aware, to be not to have knowledge of self, to know thyself is the ultimate most high consciousness is to become God is to become source, become one, which, which is, which is source, which is consciousness to become one with what what we all are and to realize by looking at a person another person that you are looking at yourself and to live in that imagine you lived as if the other person was you on a different variation or frequency of consciousness than you but we are all one being existing as one being talking to itself that is the most high consciousness in this plane of existence, you cannot get any higher than that. We are one being. This is how you know God is talking to you or source is talking to you. Because I'm giving you the source of what you are. This is what makes me your Messiah. This is what makes me, me, me God. Because 
I would be your God because I knew that and you didn't. But my job as the Messiah is to make it plain and simple as a messenger and teach you who you are and have knowledge of self and the intricate details of that. Because although you are source and we are all that source collectively, you are an individual ego. Okay, and your individual ego is just a part of the collective ego, but is an expression of that collective ego. The collective ego is source ego. Your ego is an expression of source ego, which is just as important as the source because the fragmented piece of the source makes up the source and, and expresses the source through that fragment of piece. So when we understand this, that means that's when Jesus said, me and my father are one because he was one with what is in the source of consciousness of understanding that I am one with everything. I and my father are one. And he said that, and they said, how can a man, we're not stoning you for any reason because you're merely a man claiming to be God, but their understanding of God, which was wrong. And the Christ has come to give you a clear understanding of what God is, what we are knowledge of self and this was written before the bible this is written all in the egyptian text the comedic text know thyself the seven hermetic principles the all-seeing eye of haru which is the christ the christos the christos means the christ which means the all-seeing eye to be out to be able to understand that i am I am all things and all things are me. And when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to a reflection of myself, a fragment of myself, a reflection of myself. This is why we say peace reflection. So we put it in our vocabulary to keep, to keep us awake because we go back to sleep and we go into separatism where we stop to realize that we are all connected and we are all one. So when I'm talking to somebody that is in disagreement with me, it's like I am the color orange and they're the color the blue. Of course, orange is at a different frequency of blue, but they're streaming from the same very source, which is white light hitting the prism. So while we feel that we are different, we are truly all the same vibrating on different frequencies of that one thing. So to understand that is to forgive, is to say, well, that's blue. It's to accept that that's what create, that's what makes us, that's what makes us exist, separation. Separation creates existence. Imagine we were all one thing and we knew we were all one thing. Then we would, be, we would be everything. And to be everything is to be no thing at all. A thing is only defined by its opposition. And opposition needs to be separate of that one thing for it to feel that it is separate so that it can exist. So existence is separation. When we separate, we become two a set of one. But that's what creates existence. So it is in that it, that separation that we uh, we go through these cycles. The further con un the more unconscious we are of this uh, separation, the more we fall into the dark ages. The more we realize that we are all one, the more we come into the golden ages where you are treating others as if they are you and giving others as if they are you. This is why when, when, when the disciples came to Jesus and said, what is the greatest commandments? What is the greatest of all commandments? Jesus said, there are two. The first one is love thy God with all thy heart, thy mind, and thy soul. Now God meaning the source of what you are, honor that. Honor the source of what you are. That's what it means to love God. Honor the source. Recognize, always give honor and worship to that we are all one and we're all one being and recognize that that is how you honor God. That's how you acknowledge God is to see God in yourself and see God in others and understand that all things are God and we are all God talking to itself and to understand that oneness. That should be our church. That should be church. And he said, the first one is love thy God with all thy honor, thy God with all thy, God, thy heart, thy mind, thy soul. And the second one, he said, is just like the first one. Love your brother like you love yourself. 
So he said, it's just like the first one. So to love God, you must love each other. To worship God, you must worship each other. Here we are in church, worshiping some invisible entity that doesn't exist. Ignorant, the ignorance. We're worshiping an entity that we cannot, we cannot see nor touch. And even it says in the Bible, how can you say you, you love God whom which you've never seen but hate your brother which you see every day? You are a hypocrite. It is impossible for you to do this. But then I go into the intricate details of a person's program. What makes you you? You are a program. You are an, a fractal piece of source expressing itself in its own way. And when you look at someone else, they're different from you because of the different expressions of genetic, genetic genomes. It's called genomes. What makes you look different than me is genetic programming. And this is what we don't realize. Here's where it gets deep. Here's where it becomes cool. When you become a true Christian, when you become truly awakened, you become a biologist. You start studying biology because biology teaches us how source takes shape and form through genetics, through DNA. DNA would be God and the different expressions would be the proteins and the genes that create the proteins. And God would be this blueprint called DNA. It would be the Akashic Records. This is where everything stems from DNA. All things come from DNA. You see a tree, you see a bird, you see a human being. They're all one being. They all share the same DNA, but they're expressing this DNA in different forms and shapes. So now religion turns into science because science is our true religion. We knew that in comedic, that's what comedic science was. The study of melanin, the study of black dark, the study of, of, of matter in itself and how it is we expressing, how it comes into different expressions and different forms. So now our, our Bible should be science. Our Bible should be biology, astrology, quantum physics. Melanin and earthing and grounding. This is why our our Bible is based in science. We base ourselves in actuality and biology, astrology, epigenetics. These things. Now you start to find truth and actuality. And you and the Bible is nothing more than another reference as a book that we can co co we can co reference to to science. We can say, here's the Bible. Let's not throw it away. They made this. They gave this up to us. Let's use this Bible in congruency with science. So now we see that, oh, Jesus is nothing more than a story of when human humans are able to embody Christ conscious, which is the mind of the all-seeing eye, which is known in comedic science which we see in the Bible, and then we see this when people take DMT, when t people take the bufo frog, when people t take mushrooms, they tap into this consciousness. Now, whether they are able to do that sober, that's a whole other story. It is black people that are able, I don't know how we could look into what white people are saying. White people have bastardized religions and understandings of spirituality when meditating like white people meditate. They've brought these things back as if we wasn't going to catch on to the bullshit. Like, come on, this is our science. These are our things. Meditation is life. You are meditating at all times. Matter of fact, you go into a meditative state when you go to sleep. To sleep is to meditate. If you truly understand meditation, you truly understand yoga, then you will realize that the true meditation is to, is to find what centers you. That might be running. 
Meditation doesn't have to be sitting down like this. Your meditation might be cooking. Your meditation might be driving. Your meditation might be in a studio. Your meditation might be something totally different from other, another person's. Some people could sit still and this is their meditation. This is how they clear their mind and center it. But that's not for everybody. So why is white people teaching spirituality to be this one meditation? This is dangerous. Because it's misleading people. It's making them think like, oh, I can never be spiritual. No, you already are spiritual. Spiritual means psychological. The study of the mind and how it works. Spirituality, spirit meaning energy, energy meaning consciousness. Consciousness, spirituality is nothing more than psychology. Psychology is the study of the mind and how it works. Period. But those that are awake know that. Know that it's not what they're making it to be. Your body is a crystal. Your bones are crystals. Google it. Your endocrine system is your crystals, crystalline system. You already, people putting crystals on and don't even understand that they are a crystal. People recharge their crystals more than they recharge their body. People take better care of their pets and crystals better than they take care of their own body. The body has to be recharged. How do you recharge the body? Meditation. What is your meditation? I don't know. Riding a bike. It recharges me. Talking, communicating with others stimulates my mind and recharges me. I can feed off that energy. Whatever recharges your source of being, you have tapped into your meditation. That is what meditation is for. It's to recharge your being. When you are out of bounds, it's to realign your being back to center. We talk about crystals, but your glands are crystals. They have to be crystals because they secrete hormones. Your glands are crystals. Just do the research. You are a walking Merkaba, so you are the crystal. You don't need crystals. Matter of fact, we went, they, 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 they crystal mine. They tear out these crystals from the earth. Where we're supposed to go to these sacred places on the earth and align that chakra or align that gland in your body. Each gland represents something. And when you're sick, each crystal represents a gland because your sickness usually stems from one gland, whether it's your liver or I mean, whether it's your, 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 your you know what I'm saying? Your glands, whatever, whatever it is, it's one of these glands, whatever organ is affected by the gland nearest to it because the gland secre secretes signals to everything is signals bluetooth everything is signal to the to the organs to tell the organs what to produce everything is signal and the, and the glands play as crystals that amplify signals to the organs to tell the organs what to do so your your body's an antenna and these things are your antennas right for different functions once you understand that, then you become the crystal. You no longer need crystals no more because you realize I am the crystal. You, your body is three folds. Blood, breath, and bone. Blood, breath, and bone. You are solid, liquid, and, 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 um, and uh, breath at the same time. And I always tell people, I say, okay, what makes the what makes the blood in your body? And people don't know. I said, well, your body needs to make new blood. Your body's producing blood. What makes blood new blood in your body? Most people can't even tell you. They can't even tell you what makes new bone in your what makes new blood in your body, right? Somebody said water. No. What makes new blood in your body? Because we're three part fold. We're 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 we're, we're what? We're bone. We're liquid, which is blood, and we're gas. So the bones, exactly. Your bones make new blood in your body because you're actually always evaporating water. Most of your blood is water and red blood cells. So now that we know, okay, so my bones make my blood, but what makes my blood? Your breath, oxygen. Right? 
Oxygen gives you red blood cells. It gives you oxygen. This is, this is what your oxygen is for. So your bones make your blood. The oxygen makes up your, make, I mean, your bones make your blood. The oxygen makes you, makes you, uh, well, the, well, let me get it straight. Your, your blood is made by your bones, but what makes your bones is sunlight. What makes your bones? What makes new bone? Vitamin D. It makes new bone. So your bones are made from sunlight. Your blood is made from your bones and your blood and your breath is made from the oxygen in your blood. And they all cycle each other. Blood, breath and bones. Solid, liquid, and gas, you exist at the same time. Your bones are made by vitamin D. Now, you either get vitamin, di vitamin D directly from the sun, or you get it from the food you eat. But your new bones, which is the structure of your body, is made from vitamin D which comes from the sun. I mean, you are what you eat, so your bones are crystallized sunlight. So you are a crystal. Your blood is liquid crystal. Your breath is the gas form of what that is. When we understand this mathematics, then it's different. It's like, oh, wow, okay. I don't need crystals. Crystals are cool, but we know that these sacred places that they, that they mine crystals are places that you're supposed to go stand in that area and get that energy naturally without tearing it out the fucking ground. What the fuck are you doing? That's European mindset. Why would you tear the fucking crystal out the ground? They belong where they were at, motherfucker. What are you doing? Naturally, they were there for a reason. That was a sacred place. You just tore that out of a sacred place. We don't think that that has an effect on the earth and its balance. But no, you got crystals. I don't fuck with crystals because I know how they get them. I know how they make them. I know what they do. I know that I am a Merkaba. I am a crystal. I'll be looking at people so like, y'all like, fucking crazy. Oh, we're this crystal. We're this crystal. When we all believe into the bullshit that white people, this white people spirituality, man, we made this shit. We were scientists. We were scientists. Come on, you using the white man's, we're not using white man nothing. White men have stole everything. White people stole everything from us. We were here before white people, so white people don't have a history. How can we steal anything from them? They taken what we did and 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 demonized it and 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 bastardized every everything that was become to you being supposed to be used for true science and being used to go against themselves and destroy themselves from weapons to automobiles to vehicles everything they do and their technology today is based in things we already we already knew we knew beyond that. Nothing's new under the sun. They're just using it in a demonized way to harm themselves. You ready? We need to understand the technologies of our body. Your voice is an instrument, meaning that it allows your thoughts to come into manifestation. It vibrates your thoughts into manifestation. What you're thinking, you don't talk all that you think. A lot of your thoughts pass by. You choose what, what thoughts get vibration, even when you're typing. It's a thought that comes to your mind and you type it out. Be careful what you manifest. Be careful what you let come through and play out into the vibrations because the thought is a gas form 
This is a, a more higher gas form, and then it becomes physical. So everything starts with a thought first. Look around you. The chair, the house, the walls, the lamp, everything you see came from thought. You're looking at people's thoughts. Even your food is a thought. Fruit is a thought. Everything is a thought. Somebody had to think it first and manifested it with time, energy, and focus, manifested it into the physical. It was all thought first. Nature Boy TV. I guarantee the things that I say 